Kia ora, Helen Bromsey can be live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're having a super fantastic sparkling magic Monday. I have a confession to make. I'm not sure I did a live this morning. I'm sort of like, I wrote everything up, but I can't find it anymore. I remember doing, I tell you, I had the most productive morning ever. If I've already said this, please let me know. <laughs> so it started off with, um, I was in the process of, in that little twilight sleepy thing, and then you hear, and I wake up, and, and I open my eyes in time to hear a bum. I was like, what the heck is that? This, that came from where my clock was, and then my clock flashed and went out. And I was like, oh, when did I last charge my clock? <laughs> I charge, I honestly, I charge that thing like every two to three months. And obviously it's been a little longer because it was dead. So jumped out of bed, came out, plugged it in. It's been plugged in all day. And as soon as I plugged it in, boom, it was back up and running again and everything else. And it's been going fine. Um, so it's been busy charging all day. So I hope it's got a full battery. Now. <laughs> um, and I thought, well, I'll send some up. <laughs> this is me. I'll send some up. I really felt like going back to bed. But I was like, no, because I don't have the clock there dinging every 10 minutes if I decide to do that and I'll probably fall asleep and then I'll be really, really late. So I got up, I came out here, I did my thing with, um, um, with my sacred time and my, um, day three of the manifestation challenge, which was awesome. Um, I did all my exercise for that, got it posted, commented on some posts and I did not put my timer on, but I was very good about, monitoring my time while I was on so I didn't use my timer which I said I was going to but I was very good and I did 20 minutes and I was able to read and reply to a whole bunch of posts and um and started getting comments back on my comments and so I was like well some people are pretty I mean this is an active group on Friday they were at just over 9,000 people in the group today they were um this morning they were at 17.4 um, thousand people. <laughs> like, okay, you've almost doubled the numbers in like three days. Um, it's insane. And the activity in there is incredible. I mean, you're sitting there typing and the little notifications keep popping up in that little lower left corner of the Facebook. Oh, somebody's commented on this in this group. Oh, somebody else is coming on this in this group. These number of people are coming on this in this, in this group. And I'm like, jeepers, I can't even keep it straight. I can't keep up. Um, so I just thought, you know, I'm going to comment on what I can comment on and leave the rest. And, you know, I can always go back if I have time later in the day and do some more and all that stuff, or do some this evening and that sort of thing. So, um, oh, is that the gas truck? And so we got up and got, and so I um, got all my whole morning routine done. I'm going to sworn off talking about this as we're already today. I have, haven't I? Huh. Just sounds so familiar when it's coming out of my mouth. I'm going to go back and have another look at my Facebook page for definite. Um, <laughs> although the, the banner hadn't changed, which is what made me think, did I do my life this morning? <laughs> yeah, when I'm talking about things, it's sort of like, I've already said, I feel like I've already said it. So, and I don't practice. Okay, this is just really weird, but that's okay. We're, gonna, we're just going to deal. We're just going to roll with it. So I got, um, um, day three of the challenge done then um Zephy didn't wake up till like I was in the process of getting dressed to take her for a walk she just and as soon as she realized I was dressed she jumps out of bed runs down the end of the RV looks out the window then comes back to me hur, 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 like hurry 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 and I'm like huh no you can't tell me to hurry you've been sleeping all this time we're going on my timetable today um but I actually did get a lot of stuff done I got some housework done this morning um I even remembered to pull out my little orange thing to call the gas company this morning to get gas delivery. I was going to wait till Wednesday, but um, they said, oh, you guys are at the end of the run today. So they'll be able to just put the yellow, the orange thing out underneath your wiper and um, they'll stop and fill it up for you. And I'm like, awesome. That's what I said. So that's why I don't have to order it. I just put my little orange thing out. And she says, yep. I said, is it okay if I change the site number on there? Because it's got like the site number when you guys were last out here. She says, absolutely, just go ahead and change it. Here's your account number to write on it so that they know that you have an account and have a card on file um, because then they don't come and bug you for it, um, bug you for payment and stuff. It's all automatically done. And so I was like, awesome. So I checked when I got, um, when we were out walking this evening because I, 
I don't know how many freaking diesel pickup, those big diesel pickup trucks that are in this park, but they all sound like the gas, the gas truck, um, when it, the propane um, truck when it comes around. And every time I heard one, I'm like looking up at the window. Nope, it's just another pickup. Nope, it's just, an, I swear, everyone that's in this resort, and especially in this area of the resort, came down our street today. We had more of those diesel pickups coming down our street today than we have ever had in the entire time we've been here. And I'm like, there is only one fifth wheel down here. <laughs> and it's like four sites that way. <laughs> one. There is. There should only be one pickup on the street because there is only one, well, especially of the size that these ones were, because there's only one fifth wheel on the street, <laughs> or in our section anyway. Um, but then I was sort of like, okay. So, um, so the first thing I did after I did my training call was I called them, got that all taken care of <coughs> um got the accounts all changed over the new credit card on file everything else then i had um another call which was really cool we we're talking um travel and um how a travel professional could use my box power to increase their business um some good ideas in there as well um that was actually a really cool call then i was on to an <laughs> off that call onto another call um and got off that call and had lunch before I got onto the help desk. And so my day was just like, boom, did it, boom, did it, boom, boom, boom. So somewhere in there, I think I had, I thought I had done a live somewhere in there. Um, like after the second call, after the one that was 11.30 that I finished at 12. I thought I had done one then, but I can't find it yet. Everything I'm telling you right now feels like I'm repeating it. I'm repeating it. So. I'm not sure. And then, and so then I was um, on the chat all afternoon and Zephy was into the bedroom and out of here, and back out here again, just on and off throughout the day. We had the windows open, so it was nice. We got some fresh air in here, um, even though it's like 50-something degrees outside. Um, with the sun coming in, it got quite warm in here, so having the windows open, and we had a very, very slight cross breeze. Um, that's why I have fans on in here to help move the air around. Um, and then I got up at one point to refill the water bottle and I thought oh where's and I looked up there I couldn't see Zephy up on her bed so oh she must be in the bedroom I go in the bedroom I couldn't see her so I turned the light on could not see her and I'm like where the hell is she checked her crate nope checked all the places that she could be sleeping couldn't find her anywhere I walk back into the bedroom and I'm like Zephy and her head pops up and I'm like <laughs> she had like she had somehow camouflaged herself completely that I could not see her she was in her bed laying lengthways across the width of it her head was round behind the edge of the quilt that sort of acts as the barrier and tucked behind my pillow um and she had it so the blanket sort of so that the blanket that her head was tucked behind the quilt was flopped over on my pillow so i couldn't see her head unless she lifted it up because it made it high enough that it completely hid her and she had somehow managed to um, get under the blankets enough that i could not see her body and i was like you little trickster so that's when she disappeared on me. And I kind of had a little mini panic, like, well, where is she? Because she can't get out of here. She's got to be in here somewhere. She wasn't in any of her usual sleeping places, which is the dashboard, her crate, and the bed. So where is she gone? And so I walked back in the bedroom and called her out. And she just pops up, looks at me, and then she just pops her head back down again. Like, I'm here. Bye. And <laughs> went back to sleep. But I tell you, she was so well camouflaged today. I couldn't see her. She must. She's very proud of herself for that one, giving mum a fright. Aren't you, sweet girl? Oh no, we're playing with the bones now. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of fun. Um, and uh, so, what what do you have in place? So, your question for the for the day for the Magic Monday is: What do you have in place to create magic on the first week of the new year? I've got this manifestation challenge going on, and I tell you, I'm on day three, and I'm still like, whoa, this is unbelievable. This is incredible. Um, just what's clearing, what's clearing out, what I'm clearing, um, what's coming up. There's stuff coming up I didn't even know was there. Well, I probably did know it was there. I just buried it so deep that um, it was off the radar. So I think that's what's happening. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this manifestation challenge is going to be going for the next, let's see, we're on day three and it's a 21-day challenge. So, um it's self-paced. You go in, you listen to like a six-minute audio, do some writing, um, go into the Facebook group, post your findings for the day, and you're done. And you can, you know, come in on other people's posts. You're done. It's like 30 minutes all up. 
um, depending on how long you write. Yes, because I have some some days out of the last three days where I've just sat and just written pages, pages. Um, it wouldn't fit in my PDF. In fact, I've had two areas that didn't fit in my PDF. So I've had to put dot, 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 which means go to my journal. Because I type it, I write it and handwrite it in the journal because it sticks better when it's handwritten. Um, I thought I heard the gas truck. So when we were out walking this evening, we're walking around, I'm thinking, oh, you know, when we get back, if I haven't seen the gas truck, I'm just going to pull the tab in and schedule him for month, for Wednesday. And when I got back, I double checked and I'm just above a quarter tank, which means I got plenty for tonight, plenty for tomorrow night, and we could get a refill done on Wednesday. And, um, and I would go online and place the order because now I have my account number. I can now go in and do that. And um, But we walked around the top street and there he was down at one of the RVs and he's like walking around the outside of his RV trying to figure out where their tank and take is. And I'm like thinking, their car's in the driveway. Why not just knock on the door and ask them? <laughs> but I know from when I first set up my account with them is that I told them, they said, uh, um, you actually put in there where your tank is located. And I said, it's located um beside on the passenger side before you get to the door so there's one locker that's unlocked it doesn't have a lock on it never has a lock on it and that's where my lpg tank is, my propane tank is so um i'm not sure if you'll see my little orange flag in the in the dark out there but we'll see so he was up there was that about 30 minutes ago yeah and so he probably would have gone all the way down 24th the other street and then you'll be coming back along yeah so there's two streets between where he was and where i was and if he's following it around he'll then go back that way on the next street then come back this way on the street which means he will approach us from the passenger side um so hopefully he'll see the little orange thing going hi come here please um but yeah so it's been um it's been a really good first day back at work on the front you know for the for, for the year um lots of fun on the desk on the help chat today and uh, some that make you go you did what <laughs> but it was all okay you can't actually talk to them but you're sitting there and you're going they did what how did they do that oh let's try figure this out and see if we can get them back on track again so had fun getting people back on track today that was awesome um but anyway we're out of here oh your tell your story question is what resolutions have you set in the past that you have achieved? Yes. So in 2016, December the 30th, 2016, I wrote out my resolutions for 2017. Sorry, in 2007. December 30th, 2007, I wrote out my um, resolutions for 2008. Yes. And um, my top three was that, you know, Brad and I had a pretty good marriage anyway, but I just wanted better communication between us. I wanted us to grow close together and have better communication. Then I wanted to eat healthier was my second one. And my third one was having a closer relationship with God. And those were my, those were my main three that I was going to concentrate. Yes, there were other things on the list. I couldn't even tell you what they were without going back and pulling out the journal. Um, but those were my three things. Three weeks later, Brad was diagnosed with cancer. 21st of January 2008 he was diagnosed with cancer um and that started our journey I achieved those three goals but I did not expect the vehicle that we had that helped me achieve those goals so because of his cancer I was able to achieve all three of those goals those resolutions and so that scared me enough that I didn't write resolutions for until December 30th, 2016. And to be honest, I can't remember what those resolutions were. I did not expect Brad to pass in 2017. And those, resol and those resolutions would be realized through the journey that we went through in 2017. Um, I can't even tell you what those resolutions were. I'd have to go back to my journals and have a look. I just remember the ones from 2007. I do not remember the ones I wrote in 2016. Um, I know that they were realized through the um, extensive challenges we had that year with Brad being in hospital for 89 days and then coming home and passing um, five days after he came home with, um, with Gus passing 18 days before Brad did. Um, realizing one night on the drive home from the hospital after Gus had passed and before Brad, before Brad came home, um, suddenly realizing that 
Gus's passing was prepping me for Brad to go. I had that revelation in the car. And when I was driving to him from the hospital and thing, I would have my voice memo thing on the phone recording the entire time I was driving. So you've got things in there and me talking about stupid things drivers are doing, questions I had to ask the doctor that day, answers that I got from the doctor that day, depending whether I was coming or going. And um, that thing was recording at the time when I went ballistic in the car. When I realized that something inside me said that Gus's passing was in preparation for Brad's passing. I was stuck in traffic. I went ballistic in the car. I don't know what people around me thought. I don't know if they could have heard me because I was screaming. Um, it's a very clear record. Put it this way. It's a very clear recording. That one. Um, how I was not, I was not prepared for Brad to go in the next year. And then something told me it was going to be sooner than that. And I said, definitely not this month. I can't handle losing Gus and Brad in the same month. No way. No how is that going to happen. And there were a few colorful choice words in there as well. I don't use them very, very often. But the situation at the time was out of my control. <laughs> so was my mouth. Um, and uh, yeah, I just remember going ballistic, how I could not deal, deal with Brad going in the same year as Gus. I couldn't. And then when I had this feeling it was going to be the same month, I said, no, it cannot be the same month. And of course, a few days later, Brad was gone. So it was sometime between when Brad, um, when, um, when Gus went on September the 6th and when Brad passed on September the 24th, although September the 19th, because that was the day he came home from the hospital. Um, yeah, so between December, September 6th, sorry, not December, September 6th and September 19th, I had that revelation in the car and I was not a happy camper at all. I was stuck in traffic. If traffic hadn't been around, I was probably about 10 minutes from home. It took me another 30 minutes to get home. I was still ranting and raving when I got home. <laughs> so I had a good 30 minute rant and rave on that one. Um, yes, I was not happy about that. But I do know that the 2001, the resolutions I set for 2017 were accomplished, just not in the way I expected them to be accomplished. Um, so I'm happy to be doing this manifestation course now. That's after that that I started doing birthday resolutions instead of New Year resolutions. Because the birthday is your own personal New Year. So why not set, why not tie it to your birthday um, to have resolutions for your birthday instead of um, tying it to a year, tying it to the first of the year to the 31st of the year. Um, from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. So that's, uh, I was after that, that um, birthday resolutions came into existence for me. <laughs> yeah, I think it was 2019 when I did my first one. And I've been doing them every year since and achieving great things. And this year I've put some massive, massive um, resolutions before my birthday this year. So before my birthday in December, there are some massive resolutions that are going to be achieved. Um, and then I stumbled across this manifestation course um, challenge and I thought I'm doing, and it was felt like I had been led to do it. So it was a no brainer to sign up for this thing. And um, all of a sudden I can see this is how I'm going to be in the right space to be able to receive what is coming um, to me so that I am mentally prepared for these massive goals to be achieved so that's the way I am looking at it and it's going to be a phenomenal year so without that without further ado I am out of here write out your story write out what your resolutions you have set in the past that you have achieved see how far you have come that's always an interesting one to see how far you have come I mean people try to say oh you're so brave and I don't get it I pull up in an RV park, I get out, I start putting it up, and I had one woman at one park come past me and go, are you driving this by yourself? I went, yeah. I'm like, it's no, it's no problem. Oh, you are so brave. And I'm like think, looking at her and going, really? Why would somebody say that? If it was a male, they wouldn't even ask them. Female, oh, you're very brave for driving something like this. And I'm like thinking, look at all the 18-wheeler truck drivers that are female. <laughs> So it just kind of irked me a little bit. So like, really? I'm not really that brave. I'm just, I want to get, I want to go visit there. I've got to drive the rig there. That's not a problem. But anyway, 
I'm out of here. Go have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your magic Monday. I'm going to see if I can find part one because I'm pretty sure I've talked about some of this this morning. Um, I remember voicing it. I remember voicing it, so I'm going to have to go find it, but I can't find it, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, go enjoy the rest of your magic Monday. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening. We'll catch you back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Triumphant Tuesday, Terrific Tuesday, Tune Up Tuesday. Um, I haven't decided yet. I think you're changing the name of Tuesdays. We'll see. But whatever we're going to be calling Tuesday, we'll see you then. Hey, Conera.